Oh, hi guys, it's John O'Hear from Silicon Dales in Australia. I just had a question regarding how to uh, create a silo structure using the Nexus themes. Now, uh, siloing websites is pretty, pretty well common practice these days. Um, it's sort of becoming more mainstream when building websites and utilising best practice with SEO. Uh, but some themes, it's a little bit tricky to do. It's certainly tricky to do manually and takes a fair bit of time. Uh, but there's there's ways we can get around that. And the Nexus themes, we use them quite a lot with our local clients. Uh, they're a really good theme to work with. They have a front-end editor, which makes them uh, pretty pretty good to work with. And you know, if you're anything like me, I'm not a coder. I'm an SEO guy and a, and a, uh, a structure guy. So uh, it makes it much easier to build really good-looking websites. They come with some really great themes. And you can actually build um, sites from the ground up with the front-end editor. And once you get uh, a fair bit of practice with the Nexus themes. Um, it, the, with the Nexus themes, they come with some, some little quirks. Uh, there's a few things that need improving, and I know the guys, um, the development guys, are actually working on that. Um, there's, there's quite a lot of code behind the theme to make them work and make them function, and that can make themes a little bit slow, uh, but there's uh, there's ways you can optimise the site speed, which I won't go into today, but that's just one thing you need to be aware of when you're using these Nexus themes. And then also, if you want to bring in uh, outside plugins and do other bits and pieces, that can be a little bit tricky. But once you get used to using them, uh, it's it's relatively simple. So siloing sites, um, you know, as I mentioned, it's becoming more mainstream. Um, it's a, a way of actually creating themes within a site so um, everything's in what's called a silo if it's a theme or a topic and it just um, not only from a functionality point of view and a, and a human user uh, quality point of view uh, the, the the way um, Google or other search engines can come in and crawl your site makes it much more organized and efficient for them and if you're, if you're doing SEO to your sites it actually makes it uh, you know you need less links and, and less um, power going to your sites or within a theme um, to actually rank. So that's a number of reasons why siloing sites can be quite beneficial. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, just on my own site, I'm just going to go through how to uh, set up a, a, a silo um, structure uh, with the next of themes. And what we're going to use is a, a really powerful plugin developed by the guys at Network Empire called the um, the silo plugin, and you can come over here and you can grab it. I mean, grab it for free for the simple silo plugin, um, or if you sign up to um, to one of their uh, their packages, uh, you can actually get um, the, the video silo plugin, and there's some other options there which um, gives you much more features. Um, highly recommend these guys; they they do a great job, and everything they do is quality, and they really know what they're talking about. So if you grab that plugin. Um, you can then use it, and it, it works on any WordPress sites, but you need to go through the tutorials how to use it, and that makes it a bit simpler to use. Well, first of all, we'll go to the back end of this WordPress site, and you can see I've got the simple silo builder uh, installed here. We just go to the manual silo builder section of it, and it just installs, and I'm going to assume that you've... Uh, gone through the tutorials for the silo builder and you know how it works <coughs> and, I, and I assume that you know how to install it and how to actually use the plugin on a WordPress theme. So with the Nexus themes it works uh, pretty well the same. You can just install it and then you've got your builder here and you can build out your pages um, as you would normally using the silo plugin. Um, so what I do is just go through um, this site to be honest hasn't been done uh, 100%. Um, the site's had a lot of bolt on uh, bits and pieces since it was developed um, on another theme and then it's had bits and pieces done to it. So uh, it's probably not the best site to use as, as an example, but it ranks really well, so I'm not too concerned about it, but um, I'd, I'd like to clean it up over time. Uh, so what I've, what I've actually done is, is sort of bolted on these silos um, as I've built it out of the site. So what we'll do is we'll go and uh, create a new silo category. So we'll just click on home, I'm just going to turn the videos off. Um, what that does is pulls in a video when you create the page. And we'll just create a new page um, or a new silo 
maybe we can call it, um, we'll simply call it siloing websites. And I'll delete this uh, once we've actually built this out. And you can just click add new. If we scroll on down, we can see that that page has actually been created. So now if we go to front end of the site, actually, no, I won't do that. Um, we'll go back to back end so we can see that the page has been created. I just had a question on, on if you can use the silo plugin with Nexus theme. So as I go through each step, I just want to show that they've been created correctly. Um, so I'll scroll on down and over the second page and there's the page that's actually been created so we'll view it and we can see that it's been created within the site so there it is there now obviously it's not in our menus yet so go back to menu solo builder and we're going to add a second um, we're going to add the first level of the silo so we might just call this um, website silos best practice. You've got to be careful, obviously, with your keyword optimization and making sure you're not over optimizing your silos. And, um, but that's for if you're <coughs> if you know what you're doing with your SEO certainly understand how that works. So we'll, we'll add that level in. Scroll on down and we can see it's been added. And if we go back to pages, we should see that it's been added as a, as a child page of parent page which is solo and websites. Now the next level you go down it'll actually be created as a post which is the way the silo plugin has been created uh, and that's um, that they've built it with uh, the ultimate structure uh, in mind um, but we won't do that we're just going to do it with pages today. So so there you've got your two pages and you can see that um, I'll just actually go and view that. You can see that it's created a URL structure up here for your for the first uh, level of the silo and then the second page is this, um, this URL here. We go back to the top pool. You can see that the page is there. Okay, so now we've got the pages in place and now we want to make sure we, we add in the silo widget correctly which actually uh, creates the silo interlinking uh, between the pages and also in our top level menu. This is where it gets a bit tricky with uh, the, the Synexus themes, but I'll just go through it now. So you can certainly use the, the built-in Nexus menu um, for siloing your site. You just need to be careful that, because uh, they, they come with um, drop-downs automatically, so you can turn the drop-downs off. Um, so I'll just go and show you how we can use it now. So whatever theme you use, it comes with this menu um, in the header. And if you just uh, we've got a header, which I think is over here, which is what we're looking for, we are looking for home page header within this section here. And you can see when you're in the front end header, it just shows what you're actually what's actually in your header and in this section here you've actually got the menu <coughs> so obviously that'll go the header will go across um, site wide across your site we'll go back to home and now we're going to add in the silo category in this top level menu so you just click on the element here and here's the silo menu and what we're going to do is go and find, by adding an item, we're going to go and find that silo category. So for this particular one, it's just an article reference. You can do it with a custom menu, but because it's already been created with, uh, with Nexus um, in that page, you can 
use it. So we can might just call this silos, and then you can go and find the article link in its website. Uh, that's not what we want. We want silo and websites. That's the top level category. Then we can click save. You can see it's been added there, and we'll go click OK. Okay, so there it's been added. So now if we click through, we'll see our silo, top level silo category has been created. So if you notice on this home page, I don't have the silo widget on the top level page. Uh, I added in the second level pages uh, to make sure that the silo is reasonably tight. So then what we can do here, um, now you can add in on the second level, second tier, you can add in the, your, obviously the content for the page, but you can actually add in your silo widget as well. So for that, and you can have your silo widget in your, um, in your sidebars as well. You can have it in anywhere there's elements, um, but I just like to keep them in the page content section because I can control where it's shown. And just to, to reduce the amount of on page, uh, just the amount of totem links I have across the site. Um, so if it's, if it's just in the on the content of the page, we only had that in the silo category link or links within the page. If you have it in the header, um, you can you can have a help keep the links site wide. So um, and it just makes sure it reduces the keyword density if you've got it in the title as well. So we'll just go and add in the silo section widget. And I'll just go back and show you how we set it up. So that if you go, we go to widgets. And then what you can do is add in uh, the advanced silo widget in any of these widget areas. Um, so I'll just use widget area two. So it's already in there. And then in here, Grow, grab the WordPress widget, which is a WordPress sidebar widget here. Click on that. And with WordPress back in the widget area too. Click save. It's been added in there. There's another little quirk of uh, Nexus is when you add in some of these elements, they don't actually show. And then sometimes you have to refresh. Um, And then it actually shows uh, the widget showing properly. So now, go back home. Now we've got a reasonably tight silo. This is how I do it to start with. So, and then we can interlink and cross-link if we need to. Um, and you can, you know, the the the, de the the true definition of a silo is is so you don't have it interlinking between different silos. But of course, you're going to do that in a, in an old website. But you just, that, that's up to you how much you do it. Um, so I always build them tight like this first, and then I go back and, and add in to link if I need to or to require. So now, if we go and we click on the silo, here's our page. Um, what this widget does is sh always shows the correct <coughs> linking between the um, up and down the silo. And if you're in a certain silo won't show the other silos and I'll explain that more in a minute and if we can click through to the last page and then what you can also do here on the, on the last page is add in the widget as well so every page of the silo I add in the widget so you have that up and down interlinking within a silo so widget area 2 save there it is. Okay, and then you've got a nice tight silo up and down. Um, <clears throat> I've removed all my drop down menus here. So it's as tight as I want it. You can make it much tighter if you require, but um, I'm quite happy with this. So then you can see if we go to services which have already been created prior. What I've done for this one is because I mean, you can actually you can actually theme the widget, the silo widget that, that's in here, but I haven't actually got around to doing it. I just wanted my buttons looking like this a little bit 
is more user friendly than the silo widget provides. Um, but it, pro it, it actually creates the same sort of structure um, on this top level page. And then you, when you go down to next level, that's where I've added in my widget. And I've added it at the bottom. So I'm not using the widget from a user experience point of view. I'm only using it for the correct interlinking up and down the silos. Um, and because of the network and by silo plugin does the structure correctly for you from the start, um, you know it's, it's, it's done correctly and you don't need to go in and change anything else. And then if we, then if we go down to the next level, of this silo, which is the search engine optimization silo, we've got local search engine optimization, and then you can see the silo uh, widget is at the bottom here as well. So now you've got that correct structure also. So that's how I build out uh, silos on the Nexus themes. Uh, yeah, it can just be a little bit tricky to get your head around. Uh, you can certainly do it without even putting it in the menu and just doing it on the page. Um, but obviously, you just want to reduce your the amount of links you have per page, especially in, in, uh, especially if you're inner page links. Um, and then you can ensure that you have that uh, that correct structure and the silo works correctly. I think, as I mentioned before, you can get rid of the menu altogether and add in the uh, you know, the normal back end menu from WordPress, but um, if you're going to use the Nexus themes, you might as well use the menus that here yeah, they work pretty well. Uh, you just need to make sure you set up your, if you're going to do silos, you set up the, the, the menu correctly. And we'll just go back to the silo menu. And, and then set up your widget so you have that up and down uh, linking with, um, within a silo done correctly. <clears throat> so that's how I do it. Um, feel free to to contact us um, using our contact form here on this site, um, or you can find us on Facebook or Skype. Thanks. I hope this was helpful.